One of the questions that I always ask is, do they respect precedent? What is their view toward precedent? You cannot ask a judge how he or she, a judge nominee, how he or she would rule on a specific case. That's inappropriate. But I do get a sense from them on whether or not they respect precedent. And from my perspective, Ro Roe v. Wade is an important precedent and it is settled law. Now, what happened before was wrong. That should have never happened the way, not even giving a person consideration, even having a meeting. Uh, I would never subscribe to that whatsoever. I think that we should go through this process in the timeliness, make sure that proper vetting is done. So whatever time that takes, whenever that procedure is done, that's what we're doing. I don't think that the midterm election should determine the timing of, of this nomination. Would you be willing to support a candidate who is pro-life? You know, we, we will continue to vet these candidates as we move forward. We'll have the same president after the midterms as we have right now. So this uh, lame uh, argument that's being made, somehow analogizing this to the transition from President Obama to uh, President Trump doesn't, doesn't work. But the Senate could be different. Yeah, I mean, it, the earth could end tomorrow. I don't think that we have a nominee yet.